Hello there and welcome to this video on flumids. My name is Ladrum Bex and I've been playing gongs for about five years and I've been doing lots of research on the best equipment to use, the best gongs and also the best accessories. So here I have the triple gong stand from Turn of Life. It's a gal galvanized sort of a, a stand which doesn't ever corrode, it's not painted, so it never creak, it will last for, for many many years. This is how I play. I sit and I play. I very rarely use mallets. And when I do, it's uh, because I'm standing and I'm doing like a gong vortex around. But usually for my events, I usually sit and play and use the flumis. So flumi is a word uh, in German, a German word, which means hard rubber ball. And that's perfectly right. What you want is like no different than the tires on your car. You want to have some good grip and you want to be able to uh, sort of hug the road almost, uh, the surface that you're driving. And you don't want tyres which are going to leave a trail of rubber on the road and your tyres are going to like burn down and wear out. And it's a little bit the same for, for flumies as well. I use a lot of flumie work in, in my sound healing with the gongs and I very rarely use the mallets. So I usually sit and play and what it does, the, the flumie, it, it vibrates the um, the, the gong, the metal, the surface of the gong to create a sound. So very similar to using the mallet, but the mallet is striking. But the flumies create a continuous resonance with the gong itself. So the best flumies I've come across is the range I'll be demonstrating in, in this series of videos. And um, they all have different sort of textures and sizes and shapes and all for different purposes. Now for me, I love sort of the, not the medium sized flumies. Now this is the biggest one I have. Um, the, the medium size are, are these, and these are typically the ones I usually use the most. So the bigger the flumi, you're going to create a much deeper resonance because you're getting a very deeper tone, that's a wider area on the gong. As opposed to um, the E wand or the angel wand or the E flumi, whatever you want to call it, it's a very uh, thin uh, sort of uh, flumi. It's not played like this, it's played at, at the angle on the side and you create a very high tone. So the flumies are an amazing uh, piece of equipment with gongs. Um, they can, after time, leave marks, um, and that's probably down to a few things, is holding the, the flumies in your hand, which causes grease, and then you're putting that on the gong itself. Or if you are not careful with actually placing your flumies in certain places, now the worst thing to put your flumies on is like a very fluffy rug or a carpet or a floor or even a hard floor that has lots of dust on because when you place that flumi on the floor wherever it is then you're picking up all that dust and all that debris and all that like fluff onto the flumi uh, and onto the gong and then you create this sort of bouncy kangarooing sound which doesn't have any good um, uh, sort of texture and it doesn't grip and hug the gong itself it starts to bounce and cause squeaking noises and noises that you don't want to be playing when you're playing gongs. So it's important not just to have the flumies but also know how to look after them. Um, over the many years of having the flumies itself, uh, these uh, flumies which I work with are from a company called TTE Konklang. It's a German company. You can find them on Sound Travels and Tommen and also Gongs Unlimited and uh, they are really good uh, durable uh, flumies which basically they just give a good sound. Other flumies that I've played with before they sometimes leave a trail, they end up getting worn out, um, but these are great. It's basically like the Michelin tyres on your car that aren't ever going to sort of wear out. And if they ever do wear out, any flumie at all, any rubber ball flumie, all you need to do is get some boiling hot water from the kettle and then just pour over the flumi itself that completely resets it. And then getting a green uh, sponge like uh, the scourer uh, sponge uh, that you get for like washing up the yellow and the green, the green part, the really rough part. You can do that just by um, giving it a good clean that gets off any, any type, you know, grease or any dust or anything like that. 